it's a motivational Monday and our next guest uh, is absolutely incredible. Dr. Greg Venning is the author of the upcoming book. It's called Thrive, a book about rediscovering our innate potential and living the bigger life we desire through making the right lifestyle choices. Dr. Greg is founder of Peak Chiropractic, and developer of Upgrade Your Life. In demand as a hard-hitting speaker and coach, he's helped people of all ages to improve their levels of well-being and le lead richer lives. Welcome, Dr. Greg, to our loft. Thank you so much for having me. It feels like such a, like a, um, what you call a pressurized role to be here and talk about happiness, because I think everyone's going like, tell me the secret, we want to know it all. But before mm. we even go that far, yeah. you know, Jeannie mentioned at the top of the show that uh, you guys <laughs> went to school together and you were a head boy. Yeah. How are you still alive? Well, I, I don't know if she remembers, but I got in trouble for trying to discipline her at one stage. I got called into the headmaster's office. <laughs> it yeah. never helps to try discipline, Jeannie. Get her into line here. Just don't, don't tell her we said that. We I, I wish that. I could have told you sooner. You would, yeah. I would have saved you a lot of... It's a live uh, show. You're safe here. You're safe okay. in front of this side of the cameras. Okay, okay just cool. don't go that side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Let's move our attention towards the book. You know, we've been speaking quite a lot about happiness on the show today. Yeah. Um, what inspired you to write Thrive? And what is it about happiness that, that inspires you so much? Well, m my journey started when I... I was basically clinically depressed at one point. I was almost an alcoholic. I was into drugs, and, mm. and I just wasn't happy with what I was doing. And as I went through, I started my career, and I wanted to get into performance enhancement. Mm. In the beginning, I thought I was going to do that with sportsmen. Mm. And then as I went through and I dealt with them, I actually realized, no, no, this, I want to play a bigger game. I want to help people to live a bigger life. Mm. And that really came through the science of wellness. It didn't come through any... Um, spiritual or religious way it yeah. came through from hard science of figuring out that this is possible and that we can have it through the daily choices we make mm. obviously you're interacting with a lot of people on your day-to-day -day basis mm. i mean how many billions of people there are in the world and everybody's on this search to try and find their true happiness yeah. and some say it's through finding it through religion some say it's finding it through while well, eating some say it's through <laughs> being in nature and um, why are so many people in the world unhappy I think that we live an unbalanced life in terms of our perception of life. So what I'm saying is that we think happiness comes from pleasure, mm -hmm. where I really think happiness comes from fulfillment. Okay. So we confuse happiness with comfort and pleasure, yes. and that leads us to sit on the couch, watch too much TV, not this one, this is a great show, and <laughs> eat the ice cream, and that kind of leads down the road to worse things. Yes. But we seem to think that that is happiness, but then we end up being empty, just like having exactly. all the material possessions so in the world. So it's overfed yet starving kind of... Exactly that, of exactly that. It's this unbalanced, really paradoxical way of living life that we seem to be stuck in until we find a path of fulfillment, which mm. doesn't have to be a, a religious path, although it can. Mm. It's more about finding what matters to you, yeah. how you can love, how you can serve, how you can experience more, and then how to put things in place so I can do that better. Totally. But we're living in a society, honestly, that now is instant gratification focused. I mean, everything yeah. you get is for now, now, now. It's instant pleasure, instant gratification. Absolutely. So is that even possible to try and find that kind of fulfillment? Yeah, and, and I think that we don't have to reject what's happening now. Social media might be um, a, a negative thing if we allow it to dominate us in what we yeah. think. Mm -hmm. But we can also use it to put out our inspiration, to find inspiration. And I think you're right where if we're living moment to moment so instantaneously, we miss out on what's happening in the present mm, mm. and we miss out on slowing things down and on appreciation versus expectation in okay. life. So it is primarily about that balance. It's not necessarily to kind of run towards one extreme or run towards the other. No, we we want to balance performance and enjoyment of life now with longevity in the future. You don't have to be the healthiest corpse in the grave. That's yeah. not the point. The point is to get everything out of now without sacrificing what you can get in the yeah. future. Awesome. You mentioned the book, the idea of a vitalistic lifestyle. Yeah. What exactly is that? Because I know you've also mentioned that happiness is doomed and all of these things sound very negative <laughs> and scary. What is the, the, the relationship between the two? Well, I think it is, I'll just touch on that. It is really scary with how we are chasing happiness and how antidepressants are rife. We all know people who, have to, who are on drugs, who are um, chronic anxiety, mm, depression mm. is huge. So that is really scary and that's reality. However, by living what we call a vitalistic lifestyle, which is trying to look for health from within, Okay. happiness and fulfillment from within yes. how do we do that what do we, how do we eat how do we move how do we think mm. how do we create that lifestyle that fosters that a lot of people are going to say to you well listen i'm i'm, I'm not happy with change i don't like change change is scary change yeah. is new yeah. and your entire book is about change <laughs> not only from a lifestyle perspective but you mentioned food as well talk us through some of those changes that you think are the most necessary ones in order for us to achieve this vitalistic lifestyle. Because, I mean, it's, it's difficult. It's not easy. It's really tough. And I think we sometimes make it tougher than it should be, but mm. it, it was tough for me when I did it as well. And I think that as a, as a, a species, we almost want to be um, comfortable rather than uncertain. Mm. And taking
taking that first change, first step for change is always going to be uncertain. We're yep. always taking a step into the unknown. So I, what I recommend to the people that I see every day is start with the smallest manageable thing that you think you can do, but make it consistent. So mm -hmm. instead of saying that I'm going to exercise for an hour a week, three times a week yeah. in a busy lifestyle, <laughs> here's what I start with the people. I say start for five minutes a day, but yeah. make it a daily thing. And it's really easy, you kind of think five minutes, oh, I can, I can do, do that. that. Yeah. yeah. And then before you know it, some days are 10, 20 minutes, and some days are just the five minutes. Mm. But now you've built a habit, and it becomes easy to then stretch that habit out, rather than trying to carve it into other places. Okay, why does food play such a big role in this? So there's three parts, there's food, movement, and what I call headspace. And I think they're all equal. However, we have a massive emotional connection to food. Mm -hmm. It's the classic thing of sitting on, a, uh, sitting on a couch watching TV with an ice cream yeah. tub, isn't it? Kind <laughs> yeah. of fulfill that void inside. But I think that's the void we're trying to fill with food, yeah. and fulfillment fills the void. Okay. Food is, it's your fuel, it's the enjoyment, it's the social aspect behind food, but it just does dominate our psyche so much. Yeah. I think a massive part of it is also how we've been um, trained to eat certain foods, mm -hmm. how the food industry takes um, advantage of certain flavors, certain combinations, oh, but advertising. But also things have been put on the shelves and an easy, like things that are easy to access are the things that are most expensive, easy prepared. Yeah. It's gonna, there's no real sense of fulfillment about creating a dish or, or learning that you have a purpose behind the food that you eat and what it does to your body. Spot on. And then also, uh, who am I eating it with? How am mm. I enjoying it? Am I taking space and time or am I just munching it down while I'm at the desk sure. between emails? Yeah. This is powerful stuff that you, you're leading us through, but I'm very excited to hear that you're obviously a chiropractor yeah. also by practice. And how does that whole thing fit into this idea of living a vitalistic lifestyle? Well, the vitalism really, and, and the vitalistic lifestyle is really well expressed in chiropractic. And what I mean by that is that if you want to have health from the inside out, yeah. you have to have your master control system of your body working well. Okay. Now, what do you reckon your master control system of your body is? Your nervous system? Spot on. Okay. And so, and I didn't even coach you on that. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> so we want to have that clear. So your brain and body need to be integrated so everything can work well. If you're not integrated properly, then we're going to start having problems. Okay. And so what chiropractic does is clear the communication between brain and body. Ah. And so and it's more about the brain than it is about the pain. Yeah, I'm sure also about if you've, your body is out of balance or you've got a sl slight pain in the spine or something and you correct that movement, in, your entire mood is suddenly more different because you feel more exactly. in control of your body. You feel more like you're able to take that next step or you know you feel like your, your beginning point, your starting block is finally there and ready to go. And that's why I choose to work on the body as my starting point in this vitalistic lifestyle. Okay. Because by working on the physical structure of the body, you can create such a big impact that people now think, oh, I can do the next step, mm. it is possible. Okay, let's actually talk about the book itself because I mean, <laughs> listening to this interview, I'm pretty sure lots of people are writing down notes or, or trying to find out more information about how to go and do this. I mean, everyone wants to be happy and they're gonna say, there's so many different ways to find happiness. What is my specific purpose? Mm. How do I find my vitality? What can we expect from the book itself, reading cover to cover? So what we go through is we go through three sections. We go through, well, what's going on now and what's the thought process behind it so we can start to figure out why we're behaving the way we do. Because our actions every day are driven by our emotions, which are driven by our beliefs and our values. Ah. So the book helps us to realize what our beliefs and our values are. Then the next section is, well, what is a better set of beliefs? We can start programming that subconscious really nicely. And then the last section is really the how-to, really simple things about mm. what can you do today that's really simple, really easy. Sure. Dr. Greg, it's really exciting to have you in the loft with us. And I think a lot of people are really excited to take this knowledge. I mean, particularly in the world that we live in today, things are so fast moving. Mm. Everyone's trying to find like, what is my meaning? What is my purpose? Yeah. We want the suicide rate to diminish. We want depression to go away. <laughs> we want anxiety to disappear. And so this is a really cool way to go and do that. So thank you for joining us in the loft today. Thank you very much for having me. It's an absolute pleasure. So we're very excited because today we're giving away a copy of Thrive by Dr. Greg Venning to one lucky viewer. All you have to do is SMS the keyword win your name and city to 33728 and do that right now. Now, I know there are a couple of SMS lines open, but make sure you SMS WIN to 33728 to win this book itself. SMSs are charged at 1 Rand 50, T's and C's apply, and are available on our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. It's time for us to take a short commercial break. Afterwards, we're joined by author and journalist Melinda Ferguson to chat about how she turned her life around. We'll be right back. How are you doing, YouTube fam? Thank you so much for watching, sharing, and commenting. We love hearing from you, so be sure to keep up to date with all things Afternoon Express by clicking the subscribe button right here.